we do have a flood here look at this and uh, sadly I think there's somebody buried there so that is not looking good there hi guys welcome back to the channel grave visitations here so today I am in Ardmore County Waterford and what we're looking at there is Ardmore the old round tower and the graveyard so we'll take a walk around and the first one I see here is this beautiful angel in ever loving memory of Emily dear wife of the late Colonel H.S. Rock Woodbine Hill and daughter of the late Reverend A. Crone passed away the 18th of March 1989 fabulous looking angel and it just says underneath it there as well another inscription sacred to the memory of Marjorie the dearly loved wife of Lieutenant Colonel the H.S. Rock and daughter of the late R.H. Power of Liz Moore and I have done a video on Liz Moore before there's a lovely cathedral there so let's walk around and see can we see any nice graves headstones here is that a huge round tower and the view here is just stunning from this graveyard absolutely stunning Look at that for scenery. Beautiful coastline there. And a lovely place to be laid to rest. Peaceful here. Gets a lot of visitors. Make my way down here. Hopefully I don't fall. So it's good to be back again. I was took a little break for a week or more gather my thoughts and out and about again today good to have you all here watching so this is St. Declan's Oratory and just the plaque there it says High pitched gables from the popular name the Benakin, projecting side walls, doorway. The slate roof was added in 1716 by Dr. Thomas Mills, Bishop of Waterford. This is the reputed burial place of St. Declan, pre patrician. I hope I'm pronouncing that right founder of Ardmore and is one of the stations on the annual pattern held on his feast day which is the 24th of July July so he's reputed to be buried here St. Declan and uh, if I zoom in and show you just over in the corner there you can see and it's hard to focus on it but just down there in the corner you can see there is a a hole there that goes way down in the ground so maybe he's buried in there St. Declan it's one of those things where people aren't quite sure it's reputed so 
I'm going to take you around this way because um, the old church is here and I believe you can go inside the area so we'll have a look Nice photograph in this grave. In loving memory of my dear mother, Nora Foley, who died the 27th of February, 1944. And then we have a picture of a girl here, age 26 years. Kind of blurry, but you can get the idea there. Girl there with pigtails, I think. Nice old photograph. So it is opened so we can go in and have a look inside here and uh, mucky as well. So they do lock up these areas to keep them protected. There's your weed whacker so somebody must be doing some work here. Sacred to the memory of Susan Francis, eldest daughter of Dr. John Smith of Capaquin and wife of Lieutenant Colonel Skelton. Born in 1849 and died in 1896. Beautiful here inside the old church. We do have a flood here, look at this. And uh, sadly, I think there's somebody buried there, so that is not looking good there. All that water on top of that grave, look at that. Really old ones here as well, in memory of Mr. Andrew S.P.R.A.H. Spray of Cool, who departed this life May the 22nd, 1802, aged, age has actually gone off it, also the body of Flora Foley, who departed this life. Nice chest tombs. There, hopefully I can get out of the, the shadow. Nice stone work on that. A sacred to the memory of Staff Commander William Clark. Royal Navy, who died the 25th of August, 1867, age 55 years. So Staff Commander, buried there. An old stone here that would be older than the rest of them. An Ogram stone, very old. And there's the doorway, it's blocked up. See my shadow today. Lovely chest tomb there as well, look at that. 
Now they could be priests or reverends that's buried there maybe. Don't see an inscription on it. Oh, there is a name on the back of this actually here. Um, just read this. The family burial place of Mr. James O'Sullivan of Yall. Yall in Cork. Here like the body of Mr. Thomas F-U-G-E Fudge, is it Fudge? Who departed this life March the 17th. The year is faded off of there. He was 53 years old. To avoid this flood. Flood of water there. This one kind of Almost looks like a coffin shape, doesn't it? Just a little cross there. Here lies the body of Mr. Mrs. Sorry, Jane Gee daughter of Mr. William Guy of Belly. It's hard to read it there. Who departed this life 1877. Aged, it looks like 14 years old in it. Oh, what does this say? Patrick and Anna Carol Lina Smith, who died April the 9th, 1884. So that's inside the old church. And that grave there was just oh, showing them. Totally underwater. Full of water, and there is an inscription. There is, yeah. Um, you can vaguely see an inscription yeah. on it there. Very sad. But there's not much you can do about that if there's water lodging there. Just go out and show them the other side of the... The other side of the church, yeah. We'll go out and see. Because um, oh, I don't want to get locked in there. No. There is a weed whacker in there. We call him a strimmer. He call him a weed whacker, I think, in America. So now the other side of here is the is the very interesting part of this church with the stonework that's on it. Look at that. And the round tower there. Let's have a closer look. Now what these are depicting. I think some of them are saints maybe. Up the very top. Up the very top there, yeah. This looks like saints, aren't it? Down the comments. This one is quite interesting as well as like a bishop or a pope sitting in his chair and a baby being sent to him. See above that yeah. one? Yeah. See above that one? The baby, the woman holding the baby. The yeah. woman holding the baby, yeah. He and has a, a sword. And he's sitting on a chair there. If anybody knows what it means, comment underneath the video and please let me know. Um, there's a number of things up there, really, yeah. up the very, very top. It's kind of hard to see it there. There's a man holding a bow and arrow there. I think that's the tree of life, actually, this one here. The tree of life, yeah. yeah. I think so. But above that, it's like someone holding a bow and arrow. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. Yeah. Very interesting, though. Some great work back then to do stone work like that. This one here it says it's erected by Samuel Piles Cuff BT Man of Man of Coast Guards to the memory of his daughter Elizabeth B. Pyle died March the seventeenth, 
1849 St. Patrick's Day aged only 18 months and there's also an Ellen there who died in 1849 aged 16 so this man lost two daughters Elizabeth died in 1849 in March aged 18 months and then Ellen died the same year in May aged only 16 and his infant son born and died on the 22nd of November 1849 so he lost three children in the same year very very tragic tragic times for that family to the memory of Eliza Tiddy, wife of William Tiddy, who departed this life on the 3rd of May 1849, aged 37. Also their daughter, Henrietta, aged 9 months. Beautiful headstone there. Right guys, so I'm going to wrap it up there in this old graveyard here in Ardmore in Watford